days after one man was sentenced to prison for his part in this crime, the Manhattan driver accused of hitting and killing a 76-year-old man out for a walk last year admitted to doing so and that he made up a story to cover it up. MTN's Cody Boyer was in the courtroom again following this story closely and has our report. It was a day much like this back on October 5th, 2019, when court documents show that 76-year-old Truman Emmelkamp was out for his usual walk on Stagecoach Trail Road when two men in a car struck him and left him there. That's when, according to court documents, Michael Marino and Daniel Cifuentes came up with an alternate story, saying they had been carjacked at gunpoint, and then they hid their car in a rural area of the county. Now, today, Michael Marino, 35-year-old, was back in district court this time to change his original plea. He originally pleaded not guilty to vehicular homicide as well as leaving the scene of a crime. But today, he pleaded guilty to both of those. Marino, like Cifuentes earlier this week, appeared in person in Judge John Brown's court, but also in the audience, once again, was Truman's son, Kevin Emmelkamp, who I spoke with after today's proceedings. Community support and outpouring has just been amazing to us, we can just feel, feel the community support, all the prayers of people. We don't feel alone in this at all. Earlier this week, the passenger, Cifuentes, he appeared in court and was sentenced to seven years in prison for his part. He was originally charged with obstruction. Coming up tonight at 10, we'll talk further with Kevin Amelkamp about his father and the outpouring from the community that has followed since that October day. Reporting in Gallatin County, Cody Boyer, MTN News. And Cody tells us as part of the plea agreement in court, Marino's other two charges, including making false reports and tampering with evidence, were dismissed. Marino also admitted to being under the influence at the time. His sentencing will take place on June 15th.